Good Friday morning to you, friends. I hope that you are having a spectacular Friday morning. It's quite early here. And um, I discovered this morning as I was working on some new flow journals that I am out of paper clips. I'm out of those um, jumbo paper clips that I use for my hairy paper clips. And that's kind of like an essential part <laughs> of my flow journals. Uh, so I can't, I was, uh, it's early, there's still snow on the ground, so I'm, I was kind of trying to think of a way to make a few hairy paper clips before I could get out to the store today. And I realized that I had a few options. My friend, and I thought I would show them to you, because I think that we may find that we have a few of these things around the house. Um, this is, uh, this is... My friend Judy gave this to me, and it's a it's like a bobby pin, um, and I is I guess you would um, like put a decorative thing on it and use it in your hair. But I found out that they work really great as substitute uh, jumbo paper clips. So I want to show you how I did this first one, and this is how this one turned out. And this is one of those things that you can use scraps on, you can use whatever you want. I, I mean, it's just like endless possibilities here. For this one, I just I went straight through this way instead of trying to loop the fiber on the top. I just kind of went um, this way and I tied it. Just gave it a little tie back here. But you know, you still get that same kind of hairy paper clip effect. And then I, um, I had some of these flowers that I, I think mm, Jeannie sent these to me. Aren't they pretty? And then it was like, hmm, well that just kind of goes with that fiber. Um, so what I did here was just take a little bit of tacky. There's nothing earth shattering in this video. It was just something fun that I ran across this morning and I thought I'd share with you. And then um, put a little glue here and I added a, a petal. I mean, I added a leaf and then I added a little more glue. And then I put one of these flowers on it. And it turned out really sweet and pretty. And I thought, well, you know, that's nice. Um, that's a substitute for a hairy paper clip that just has fiber on it. And I think they'll look really nice in the journals. I haven't tried them yet, but even if, well, you know what? They're going to be great. They're going to work just great. Um, the other thing that I have, and you can do, you know those envelope flowers that I usually send you in your flow journals? Um, this would be a great use to cut those down and make them a little bit smaller and use them on uh, some of these little bobby pin mounting things. Also, if you don't have that mounting thing right there, then just glue a piece of round cardboard to a bobby pin, and I think that would work. The other thing that I had were these huge paper clips again that Judy gave me in uh, one of her stash bags and the same thing with this one I I was able to kind of to loop this through like this and do the hairy paper clip thing you know just like that uh, and then the same thing with this one I uh, I just took some glue and glued on uh, flowers, whoops. Also the petals, you can, not petals, I keep calling them petals, sorry, haven't had enough coffee. The leaves are something that you could make out of, uh, you know, out of cardboard or um, paper or whatever you want to make, make them out of. Can do a lot with that and then for that one I I uh, used a sequin not a sequin a uh, a uh, one of these shiny things <laughs> a rhinestone 
Oh yeah, Tammy needs more coffee. And I just put that right, right there. See, I mean, that made just a really pretty little flower to, to go on anything. When I made my last zine, I put a hairy paper clip on it. And it looked kind of cool like that. The next thing that I realized that I had that might substitute for a jumbo paper clip was I had these. And they're, they're quite pretty the way they are, but I needed something to, uh, to act as a jumbo paper clip. So what I'm going to do is um, I was able, oh, and I also have these things that my friend Kathy saves for me from her coffee. With this one, I, uh, I was looking for one that maybe wasn't quite so, there we go. That's, that's something that's maybe not quite so pretty that I might just want to use that as. And then for this one, I put some glue on it. So we've just got like a little clothespin here. Put some glue on it. Uh, this is a stamp leaf from a stamp pattern that my friend Bunny made out of an eraser. She's crazy uh, great about carving carving those erasers that you can can buy at the dollar store. And then this is just one of my rolled roses that I make out of old text paper that I find in books. So that one turned out pretty well too. The other thing that I figured that I had were um, binder clips. And with the binder clips, all I did here was just put in the fibers because I didn't see any way to, to really attach anything else. So I just ran fibers through here. And aren't these fibers pretty? They're from Jean. Jeannie. Genie in the bottle. There we go. So just some substitutions if you find yourself snowed in on a morning where you can't really get out and you need some jumbo paper clips. <laughs> so I am out in a few hours to go get some jumbo paper clips, but I thought that these were nice substitutions. Thank you guys for listening. I hope that you got some ideas, and have a wonderful Friday, y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.